Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. Since it's been a long time since I've done one of these segments, welcome everyone to PlayStation Vita News Quickie, or a PS Vita Quickie. For those who don't know, and I'm sure that's many of you because it's been quite a long time since I've done this segment, PS Vita Quickie is pretty much what the name implies. It's just a little bit of news that has popped up as of recent, and I just have to get it out to you real quickly. And thus, it's probably going to end up being a short video. I mean, heck, there's not even much time for me to insert my randomly corny jokes. Really? Wow, this might be my favorite segment that you ever do. Heh, <laughs> everyone's a critic. But time to get on with it before this becomes not a Vita Quickie. The following news is dedicated to my PS Vita brothers and sisters over there in Europe because something that Limited Run Games is about to do is going to be a very welcome addition to your region. Because Douglas himself has tweeted, Attention international customers! I just added the attention part. We would like to inform you that we are in the early stages of opening an operation in the Netherlands and it's something we are pretty excited about. Our goal with that is to provide cheaper, faster, and better shipping to the EU, end quote. And my heart really goes out to you guys over there in Europe because I know there's a lot of dedicated PlayStation Vita collectors who have to deal with less than stellar shipping when it comes to costs. Heck, I even know a lot of Vita collectors out there that will intentionally have their orders held so they can just have multiple games come in in one batch instead of having to pay for them individually. And as someone who lives over here in the States and does buy from places like Strictly Limited Games and Red Art Games, who in fact only have released a handful of Vita titles, I could only imagine what it's like for PlayStation Vita collectors over there in the EU going for every single physical release or most physical releases from limited run games. That has to be racking up quite the bill these days. Especially there for a while they were releasing games left and right. I know at this stage in limited run games life they don't have a ton of PlayStation Vita games left, only like what two? But I'm still thinking that they might have some distribution deals coming in the future, much like with Teslagrat, and or this information will be useful to any PlayStation Vita collectors out there they're looking to purchase like blind boxes from them and whatnot. Either way, I feel it's a win-win situation. So just wanted to let you all over there in Europe know about this news. And let me know what you think about it. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. The following video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Jace Bellerin, Matt Fox, Reiko Starr, Nyo Arashi, JR, Kyle Brooks, Saul Ramirez, Phantom XRS, E-Rock, Pierre Sterner, Adam Theory, Skullshire Tugel TCG, Jared Hado, Joshua Williams, Ruben Gutierrez, BMF, Kevin Enright, Heston Joseph, Aaron Swanson, Rodrigo Vera, Richard Cruz, Dennis R. Huggins Jr., Adam Sondi, Hero Acer, Buzz Saiyan, Jelly, Mario Cruz, Larry Anderson, and David Ray. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your portrait on this lovely end screen, then check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to back the channel that way. And this is a PlayStation Vita Quickie. There's no time for terrible puns at the end of it. Well, alright, maybe just one. So these two gorillas walk into a bar and... Thank <laughs> you.